folks, welcome back to my Kitten Reads. I'm Eleanor and this is a Try a Chapter Tag. So um, I've come across the Try a Chapter Tag in various variations a lot in uh, my time in the last few years of watching Booktube. I'm not sure where it started. I know I've probably seen versions of it on pretty much every channel um, that I actually watch regularly. Um, so, like I said, I'm fairly certain I've seen it on Kalinati. I'm fairly certain I've seen it on Thoughts on Tomes. Um, probably, um, wouldn't surprise me if Books and Pieces had done it. I'm pretty sure Little Book Owl has. So, I've seen it a lot. And so, anyway, when I was thinking about what to film this week, um, A, this weekend got a lot busier than I was expected because um, I had an all-day choir workshop yesterday. Um, so this may not actually all get filmed in one day, we'll see. Um, but one of my goals for the year, as I've mentioned before, is to try and reduce the amount of my subscription box books that are sitting on my TBR. Um, and the thing with subscription boxes is the book isn't always going to be one that's of particular interest to me as an individual. Um, so what I've done is I've picked out five books from subscription boxes from my TBR um, where I'm not sure if it's my thing. I'm a bit ambivalent about it. I don't know much about it. Um, there are things that concern me, that kind of thing. So um, mostly anyway. Um, so I've picked out five books and the aim is to try a chapter of each of them and see if it's going to be something that I uh, am going to continue on with. Now a chapter's not much. So if I've decided for myself if a chapter if a chapter is less than ten pages, um, I if I want to I can move on and try the second chapter as well. Um, cause, but you know I think at that point I'll probably have an idea of well if it's going to interest me, particularly the characters. Um, if I don't connect with the main character, I'm often not going to like a book. Um, because I am a very character driven uh, reader. I've spoken about that before. I think. Um, so I have five books here that I am going to try. So the first one off the cab is, um, New World Rising by Jennifer Wilson. So I believe this was from an owl crate that, um, came with two books. So a hardback and a paperback. Um, I think the hardback is actually in this pile as well. Um, which tells you about the type of box it was. It probably wasn't a theme that agreed with me. Um, so yeah, New World Rising. So basically, uh, this girl, Phoenix, witnessed her parents' murder. Um, and so the only purpose in her life has been to uphold her mother's dying words, to be strong and survive. But surviving outside of the walls, outside of the sanctuary in this world, um, is pretty much a drawn out death sentence. Um, and so the city, um, Tartarus, is run by tribes whose motto is join or die. And so basically she's refusing to join, but she's determined to live. Um, so she's got to survive in a savage world and who can she trust? Um, so basically it's a bit of a dystopian um, thriller. Not probably my thing. That's what I'm concerned about. Thrillers, things that make me tense, things where people are fighting to survive in really bad circumstances. Not really my kind of book. So, um, so yeah, I'll try a chapter, see what I think, see if I can get on with the character. Um, if not, I'll unhaul it. See, that's the aim, is to try and get some of these off my TBR, and so probably that means unhauling them. So the next one on my list is Altica by Tracy M. Joyce. This is an Australian author. I believe it came in uh, one of my Never Never book boxes. Um, and so it's a fantasy. And so it's about Asora, who doesn't know much about her race, but she's born to refugees. She grows up enduring racism um, in a community that fears her. She eventually escapes, but that's only the beginning of her travels because she flees an invading army, um, ends up having to make some really bad choices um, in order to survive. Um, she's trying to forge a bond with, a, with an ancient power, um, but survival carries a high price. Again, feels kind of dystopian, even though it's fantasy. Um, heinous choices. Again, I'm not really a fan of fiction, which gives puts its 
uh, characters in impossible situations. Um, it is fantasy, so if I like the character, I might like it. Um, I'll try a chapter, see what I think. So, up next we have Four Dead Queens by Astrid Schulte. Now, this, on the face of it, seems to be something that I would be interested in. So, um, it's about Carolee, who's a thief and a liar, who uh, meets uh, Varen, who's an upstanding citizen, by stealing a package. That package ends up getting them both in trouble um, and leads to a conspiracy where the four queens of the, of, uh, the world all get killed. Um, and so they join forces in order to try and figure out what happened to those queens and who's, who's coming after them. So, you know, mystery, fantasy, female characters seems like it might be my thing. The problem with this one is that a source whose judgment I trust mentioned, tried, tried to read this book and mentioned that there are some very ableist things that happen in it and that it also has the uh, dead gay trope, which I'm not a fan of. Um, so while on the surface it seems like a book that I might actually really enjoy, because I do like a murder mystery, that's the thing. As long as it's not too tense, I do like a murder mystery. But, um, but I'm concerned. So I figure I'll try a chapter, see if I get on with the main characters, um, and go from there. So, you know, because of the things that I have heard about it from someone who has tried to read it, um, I would have to really, really fall in love with the character fast, I think, to continue on with it. But we will see what happens. So next on the list, I have the other book from uh, that I mentioned before from the same box as uh, the um, New World Rising one. Uh, so this is The Sandcastle Empire by Kayla Olson. Um, basically, the wolf pack controls... There's been a war. The wolf pack controls the earth and all the resources. Um, our main character, Eden, uh, knows the coordinates to this mythical sanctuary island where the wolf pack has no control. So she heads there. Um, but then her friend goes missing and it turns out the island is really deadly. And we have another dystopian thriller. So again, dystopian thriller, not really my genre. Uh, but I will try a chapter, see how I go down with the character see if it's something that I want to continue. So, um, yeah. And the final one is another Alcrate book. Um, to be honest, I'm just, it kind of sounds like something I'd enjoy. Um, so Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kawaga, Kagawa, sorry. Um, so yeah, it seems to be this character who is, um, She's half Kitsune, it's an Eastern fantasy, so, um, you know, the, the fox spirits, she's half, half Kitsune. Um, she's living a life in a temple with a family that she gets, you know, that she loves. Um, and then someone attacks the temple and burns it down, everybody's murdered, and she has to flee with the temple's greatest treasure, which is one part of a scroll. Um, and then she bumps into a hunter who's hunting for that scroll, and she agrees to help him without telling him that she's hidden the skull. So um, they become unlikely allies. And then there might be a bit of a romance, but she's keeping secrets. So um, kind of sounds like something I might enjoy. For some reason, I don't know why I'm feeling a bit ambivalent. But we'll try a chapter or so and we'll see what I think of it. So those are the five books that over the next day or two, I plan to read a chapter or two. Um, see what I think and if I'm not clicking with it immediately they're going to be on hold and taken off my TBR so um, I will update you once I've given them a go okay so I'm back a few hours later and I have the results of my try tap to tag so but the basic results are I'm getting rid of the basic results are I'm getting rid of three books and I'm keeping two so, let's see which one's which. Unsurprisingly, New World Rising by uh, Jennifer Wilson I am getting rid of. I read the first chapter of this 
it mentions rape twice in the first chapter. Um, like, the text itself is pretty easy to read, but it mentions rape in the first chapter twice. So not graphically, um, but it does the main character, it's first person and the main character is talking about how she watched her mother get raped before she was murdered when she was 11. Um, and then it's mentioned as a tool of one of the tribes that uh, runs this city um, as well. They just rape and murder and honestly, like I said, the character wasn't too bad um, and the prose is pretty easy to read. But the world building, the world building is just, it's just not a world I want to know anything about, to be honest. Um, it's just already the world is too grim. And given that it's a bit of a suspense thriller type thing, um, it's just not for me. So yeah, Getting Rid of New World Rising by Jennifer Wilson. Second off the rank was Altica by Tracy M. Joyce. This I am also getting rid of. Again, prose, prose is pretty easy to read, um, and it's a fantasy, and I didn't really particularly have a problem with the character. The problem with the prose, though, is that right from, oh, it's falling out, right from the very beginning, it feels cliche. There are a lot of descriptive adjectives and words and description descriptive words that just feel like 101 teenager writing rather than, you know, rather than a professional, to be honest. I've read, you know, it, I just, and from the first page, it was just irritating, you know, describing the main character as live. Um, and, you know, um, you know, there's the, the father that has to be gotten out of the way because he doesn't agree with what she's doing. Um, you know, um, what else? So, you know, you know, Isara wove between tall pines, her lithe frame moving quietly and fluidly from their shadows into the patches of early morning sunlight that dotted the path. It's just, it just feel like it, like it feels like if I kept reading it, the prose that would just annoy me. So, sorry. I hate to do it because I've seen Tracy around at conventions here in Australia and stuff, but I just don't think this is for me. So getting rid of this one as well. So the third book off the rank, I am actually going to keep for the moment at least. So Four Dead Queens by Astrid Schulte. Um, I actually read two chapters of this because the first chapter is really short. Um, I see what my friend meant about the ableism there's uh, a character, the main character um, in the first chapter, which is only a few pages, um, is the thief. And she gratuitously, gratuitously knocks a cane out of an old man's hand in the first couple of pages, um, just because she can. And then she steals his pocket watch um, because he got in her way. Which, you know, not great. I can see what she means about the ableism. Like, it's... But the story intrigues me. The characters are intriguing me. And, again, prose is really easy to read. Um, and I want to... I, I kind of want to know what happens. It's an interesting world because it's this world that's divided into quadrants. Literally divided into quadrants in that there are walls separating three of them and the other one is an island and they all have different specialties and they are all ru ruled by the individual queens. The individual queens live in the same palace um, and I suppose there's all these rules about the queens and you know, there was apparently a war once and you know, the queens need to be out without inf raised in their quadrants and then once they ascend the throne without influence. By anyone else so that uh, the kingdom can be ruled fairly um, and at the end of the second chapter at least one of the queens has died so um, I'm intrigued so I haven't come across the dead gay trope that I heard was in here um, so I guess we'll see what happens when we get to that but I do think I want to continue trying to read this um, I'm intrigued enough and the ableism was a one-off incident that 
I can acknowledge it's problematic, but I'm going to continue trying to read it. So we'll see how we go. Keeping this one. So the fourth one I am also getting rid of. This is the last one I'm getting rid of. Um, the Soundcastle Empire by Kayla Olsen. Um, again, prose is really easy to read. I don't particularly have a problem with the main character so far. But I was already, by the end of the chapter, I was already getting tense. There were already guards and bombs and shootings and people dying and yeah. Um, and arguments between the four characters who had escaped their gulag and they literally call it a gulag. So, um, it's dystopian and from what the back says, it's, it's a bit of a suspense, which I don't cope well with suspense and particularly coming out of winter, I don't think my brain can take suspense. I, I, yeah. Well, I mean, there's suspense and there's suspense, but you know, there's always a mystery to like a plot that I don't know, but yeah, I suspect this is going to be a bit much for me. So, the Sandcastle Empire is out. And the final book is the second book that I am keeping from these five, uh, and it is Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kagawa. Um, yeah, I enjoyed the first chapter, even though the first chapter ended up with some problematic stuff. Um, the f chapter is from the point of view of, a, of a, a new maid at the palace. Um, she, her new mistress just keeps slapping her. Um, so there's a bit of abuse there. Um, but it's clearly setting up the mistress, Lady Satoma or something like that, um, as a villain, basically. Um, and it ends, the chapter ends with the maid being murdered by a demon summoned by her lady. Which is not great, but enough's going on, I think, that I'm intrigued about the story. And I kind of want to know what the deal with this is with this ancient scroll that's scattered across the land. You know? And, you know, yeah, I I'm kind of intrigued. So, I'm keeping this one. So that was my try chapter tag. Um, trying five chapters from five uh, books that I have received in subscription book boxes. So that's going to be three off my TBR and two that I may get around to reading sometime soon now that I've actually started them. I haven't put them on my Goodreads currently reading shelf yet because I've just tried a chapter and there are, I think, other things that I want to read first. But they're on the list. So, yeah. I think that was pretty successful. So, yeah, if you've read any of those books, let me know. Um, if you want to know more about them, let me know and I'll try and let you know after I read them um, or whatever. But, uh, yeah, anyway, um, I'm always happy to chat down in the comments and I will see you all again really soon. Bye.